All right, we're going to watch Trevor's backstroke underwater. We've got two different videos of him underwater um, with the uh, flip, one without the flip turn and one with the flip turn. So we kind of come in here, just kind of watch a little bit. Uh, make sure also, Trevor, when you get a chance to read the notes that are in the email as well, just different little cues that you can kind of check before or after practice or before meets. Or if you don't have time to watch the video, you can really focus a little bit more on different things that Lynette and I have seen that we really want you to work on. Um, as far as finishes go, it's a pretty good finish. So <laughs> we don't usually get to see those, but I thought all in all that looked pretty good. All right, so let's kind of restart this over here. And uh, let's talk about some of the stuff that we're seeing. All right, so as we start the stroke here, the first thing we can see is real quick, it's a good pinky entry. Okay, you've got your thumb up, the first entry right there on the right side, that's fantastic. You always wanna make sure you're exiting the water with thumb up and pinky in, and you do a great job of the pinky entry. Now, as we get halfway through that stroke, you've got very little bend in that elbow. We want to try and make sure we catch that water early. So you've kind of got that hand about six to eight inches deep, and then you start to drop that elbow and keep your hand up a little bit high, almost as if you're throwing a ball towards your feet or towards your other end of the pool. All right, so let's get a little bit higher hand. Okay, you've got your elbow bend here, and then your hand is more up in this position here while you're way down there. All right, so work on where that hand entry is. I'm sorry, where that hand pulling through the water is. Your hand entry itself was good. On the left side, you can see that you're not really going pinkies down, you're going fingertips down. So you're kind of bending that wrist straight back. And when you do that, you're not gonna be able to catch the water quite as well. The other thing that this prevents is it kind of prevents your shoulder roll through, roll through the water. So it does make it a little more difficult. So make sure we get to that pinky on that left side as well. Now, right away, you see you do a really good job of quickly getting your hand into the right position of the pull. And this, you can see a little bit more bend in the elbow than what we saw on the other side. So your hand is still out, pushing out to the side. Still want to see that elbow a little bit deeper here so that hand can be a little bit more shallow there. All right, so you really kind of, again, and if you just, if you stand up, Trevor, and you think about taking your hand at the top of your stroke and then throwing a ball toward your feet, you're going to see how that hand should be placed. You do a good job of entering that water on that right side. Really, really good job. And again, that left hand, you can kind of see here, it doesn't look like you have as much of a bend. And we've got a different view that we'll look at here in a, you know, in a different uh, video. But you got to make sure we really work at bending that, those elbows. Let's talk about your kick real quick. I'm going to rewind this just a little bit because that kick is fantastic. It's nice and steady all the way through. Um, you got good white water coming off the feet. Nice little bend in your knees. I also like how you rotate your hips with your shoulders. So you've got some shoulder roll, and that's good, but that kick looks amazing. Now, the one thing I do want to kind of show, and let me get this arm out of the way here. As you're in, in your body position here, your head's got to go back just a little bit further because you can kind of see that your hips are down here, and then your rest of your body is that way. We want to make sure that body line is more... A little bit higher on top of that water. And as you can see, if I take that yellow line away, you can just see how your hips kind of drop at the last second. So get those hips up just a little bit better. Okay, so your hand, you've got your wrist bent a little bit, which as you're pulling through here, that's actually a good position, okay? And now it looks a little bit of a bad triangle, but there it looks pretty good. But it's more with your hand. You wanna make sure that your hand stays in line with your forearm so you can really catch good water. The way your hand is placed here, which is probably your most important part of that pull, you're kind of letting it fall behind so you're not really grabbing anything. Make sure you really grab a little bit better water there. Good legs. And we're gonna go ahead and talk about your finish since we do have a finish here. We like how you put your head back. We like how you drive your hands. And most importantly, this dolphin kick as you go up, that's fantastic. You hit that wall just a little bit uh, after your feet drop. Do make sure you keep those feet up because they don't have videotape replay. Make sure those toes stay up right until you hit that wall, okay? You kind of let those feet drop and there. Your hand hits the wall. You kind of see right there okay so make sure you keep those feet up but that's a good finish we'll go to your uh this one's a little bit shorter because we're going to go to your turn here next good job trevor 